Hey guys, I guess it's already a new year, huh? Happy New Year! I've finished my sketchbook from last year, so I guess I'll show you just a little bit. Last year, I've started scrapbooking. I've cut out a lot of bits and bobs of things that I liked, so it's not full of art or anything. And at the start of the year, I couldn't quite figure out um, still what kind of style I liked, so I was experimenting. But pretty quickly, I've shifted my focus around the ideas I had, so I wasn't too bothered about the style and whatnot anymore. I just tend to have so much ideas this time around, I couldn't quite finish one thing at a time. But I do like to believe that having all these ideas stocked up in my sketchbook, all I have to do now is make a to-do list and tackle them one by one. And so I decided to basically document my day-to-day -day attempt at proceeding all these projects. I must say, looking at all these videos now, I am pretty all over the place. But I'm starting to think that maybe that's part of the creative process. Perhaps, maybe we just need to get bored of one idea, move on to another thing, and then come back with fresh eyes. I think it's more fun that way anyway. Anyway, I was curious to try out drawing some plants and stuff, but then I realized you know, trying to get used to traditional art is one thing, then drawing plants without any characters in it was a bit boring. It was starting to look like if more time was spent on it, it could look decent. But I just wanted to draw something else that is more character centric, so I moved on. To tell you the truth, I'm not very good at drawing human anatomy, not confidently anyway. So every now and then I bring out the app on my iPad to use 3D model to figure out camera angles and stuff that I can't quite capture in reference photos I take. I have started to think more about camera angles only because to really capture the feeling I'm trying to communicate through my art. It is quite challenging for me drawing human body in different perspectives but I think I just starting to get bored of a simple composition that I used to do over and over again. So yeah, it's hard but challenge is fun. And what I'm drawing here is a Nico from League of Legends. I love her character design and she's really fun to play so I decided to give her a go. So far I'm liking how it looks. For now, I can envision what needs to be worked on more. I'm going to leave this and plan my steps moving forward, which I will show you more in the next vlog. There is this fake fast food brand that I'm working on at the moment. And this particular drawing is part of that little silly project. To give you a little explanation of my process so far, I'm starting off on a piece of A4 paper with a rough idea of what I want to draw. This is me trying to shake off my fear of making mistakes on paper. I realized that the size was a little too small, so you can see me trying here again in a larger scale. These would be very unnecessary steps in digital format, but I like to be not afraid of mistakes while drawing. I'm practicing to be more accepting of any outcome. After drawing a rough sketch, I trace over the drawing with a light pad using a brown colouring pencil. In this step I was pretty careful with my lines, but I think it's not much of a bigger deal as I will be painting over the lines again later. And once the lines are done, then I lay down light colours with a watercolour paint. This is because if I don't, 
the gouache paint I will be layering over later ends up looking patchy. My favourite step in drawing is the first colouring stage. I love deciding what colours to put on and seeing the piece light up with warm feelings I just feel so happy. Oh yes, and as I've already hinted, I'm not a fan of doing backgrounds, but I'm still trying to add something to help the piece feel not too plain. As much as I don't want to, I plan on challenging myself to keep trying things that I dislike, like the backgrounds. I'm just so curious that if I time skipped from now to three years later, I wonder if my art then would have better backgrounds and look amazing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the easy circle solution here did end up looking a bit patchy, but pretty happy of how it turned out. On to the next piece. The next piece I started is a painting of my cat Melon. I don't know if he needs any introduction. He appears sometimes on my videos here on YouTube and heaps more on Instagram stories. A little cheeky gremlin is what he is. Since I'm getting familiar with gouache, I decided to use that here on a wooden panel as well. This is a little decoration painting that I've been meaning to make for a while. Finally starting it, but to tell you the truth, I'm pausing on this painting already because mixing the colours for a big surface like this is kind of ruining my motivation. Until I take the trip down to an art shop, this goes on the hold. So on to the next piece. The last piece for this video is a remake art from 2019. I thought about cutting out all the early stages of sketching and figuring out how to draw the character. But just this time, maybe I'll share my thinking behind all the steps involved. First, I attempted drawing the character in a pose I imagine, which in this case is lying down on a cushion. Then I take a reference photo using myself and a phone to compare how it actually looks. This way, I can visually compare how far off I am from the realistic pose. Then I tried to sketch that reference drawing to practice again. I hope to think that I'm learning from these steps. Then I move on to doing the same steps as I did with the cat drawing previously. This piece from 2019 is my favourite, but I thought I could do it justice by improving it slightly more. Oh, and the only steps that's different here is before lining over the sketch, I quickly flip the drawing and check the balance of the piece against the light. This is just like flipping the canvas if you're familiar with the drawing digitally. Can I tell you that in this piece, it surprised me that when the paint dries, the colour can change? I had to quickly look this up, and there it was. For gouache paint, when the light colour dries, it goes much darker, and when the darker colour dries, it goes lighter. I wasn't aware of this, so when I kept mixing the skin colour, it kept turning orange, and I had no clue what I was doing wrong. I quickly mix in more white to offset the change, and remember to do this the whole way through. It's funny though that I didn't notice any of this in the last piece. By the way, if you're wondering how often I draw, sometimes I draw every day. That's when I'm in the zone and straight after work I draw till I have to sleep. But more often these days, I do need to take some time for work or prioritize real life things. That's just how it is realistically and you can only work on art when you can. It's so easy to watch the compilation and to think that art can be made quickly. That's why I'd like to include the dates in these vlogs to show you the course of time it took to work on one thing. In my little corner of the internet, 
I'm just going to work on my art in a disjointed way that you saw. And that's why I say art is done when it's done. So my message to other artists out there is please remember to take breaks, eat and look after yourselves. And with that, I must say that this art will be finished in the next video as I'd like to plan a bit more for more details to be added on. Let me know your thoughts if you liked any particular art or if you're excited to see how other ones will turn out next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!